This weekend, the annual Home and Outdoor Show in Brainerd is going on, and our AJ uh, Feldman shows us how businesses are showing off their services to potential customers. It's a one-stop shop this weekend with over 150 businesses gathered at the Mid-Minnesota Builders Association's biggest event of the year. So if you are doing anything where you're kind of dreaming, uh, you're doing remodeling, you want to build, anything that you know, home improvements inside and outside. It's a great way for businesses to meet new customers who may not have been looking in their direction. It generates a lot of customers, you know, coming in, lake cabin owners, people looking to build and, and get started on that, are also looking for a lot of the same products we handle, you know, pontoons and such. Some of the projects may not be, you know, this year it might be the, they're looking for a, a remodel or some kind of uh, a new uh, home in the future. So it's always just good to, to, I guess, stay in front of them with our logo and, and company name. Being that this is right in Brainerd, it's, it's kind of, you get, you know, a lot more of the population that'll, that'll come to this. We're kind of off the beaten path a little bit up in Nisswa. You know, like it's, it's to see our name and, and talk to us and, and see what we offer. The event is a great way for businesses to meet new customers as we gear up for warmer weather. It's very beneficial to have this, uh, this event to kick off basically spring even though sometimes it doesn't feel like spring outside. Well, it's very important for us just to kind of get an early start in the season, kind of get in the swing of things. It's also important for the customer to, if they want a particular model of, of pontoon or fishing boat, they can get the colors or you know any of the specifications they want exactly how they want it in time for the season. Reporting in Brainerd, A.J. Feldman, Lakeland News. The Expo continues tomorrow and through Sunday at the Essential Health Sports Center. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.